hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a simple payroll system in excel so this system is actually automated so once you enter a figure and then you change the pay you change the pay it's actually going to update the gross the income tax and also the net pay also when you update the total hours worked it's also going to update your figures so i'm going to walk you through how you can create something simple like this using excel so what i'm going to do is i'm basically going to clear everything i'm going to clear everything and then we'll start everything from scratch so now with creating this table i actually disable the grid line so you can go to view and then the grid lines over here you can disable them and then you just create this simple table now i'm going to use the same name so let's just enter some random p for let's say members of this table or employees of the company so this is actually going to be some random pace we're going to give them so the number of work hours also we're actually going to give some random work hours so let's just give some figures okay so we will have our own figures over here for hours work so we're also going to have over time so over time also let's just put in some figures so these are the, just the figures we're going to add manual figures we're going to add some manual figures and then the rest of the part we're going to automate that okay so now we want the overtime hours overtime hours and then we're going to look at how we can use the overtime to calculate the rest of the information so once we have overtime here let's say the overtime we have different different overtime work for every individual okay so now how do we get the gross p and how do we calculate our income tax for the ded deductibles it's also going to be figures let's say the person takes on loans we can put in some random figures over there as well if the person has no loan we can just leave zero over there so these are the figures we we'll enter manually okay the rest is actually going to be automated so now how do we get the gross p for every member so in order to get a gross it's going to be equal to and it's going to be the p so let's put this into bracket so it's going to be the p times uh, total work hours let's close this then we are going to add the overtime this should also be in bracket over time then times the total overtime hours okay so this is all we need and then this is going to give us forty three thousand three hundred and eighty so in order to get this for the rest we just have to go ahead and then we just have to go ahead and then drag this we just have to go ahead and then drag this down and it's going to give us the figures for the rest of the employees now how do we get our income tax to so get our income tax is going to be the gross p which is this times the income tax times the income tax which is 15 percent we have to do something like this, the percentage and then should be getting this so the income tax on this is actually going to be 6507 we just have to drag this down to get the income tax for the rest so we're going to calculate the income tax on this now how do we get the net pay to get the net pay it's actually going to be the gross minus the income tax minus the deductible so if the person owes some other amount you can just do this so at the end of the day the person is getting 36,000 795 that is the net pay even though we have the gross as 43,000 to get this for the rest we just have to drag this down like this and then we'll get the net for the rest now we also need the total for every particular column so we're right here to get a total is going to be equal to the sum and then we just have to drag this column enter column like this and then hit enter so this is going to give us 440 you can bold in this just by clicking over here then you bold in it now we want to get this for the rest you can just come here and just drag this formula right to the drag it to the right and it's going to calculate that for the rest and then we can go ahead and then just bold in them now we just want this also to be reflected as we have a comma separating that so just go to the number group and then click on this and then it should be getting something like this if you want to get it for the rest you can just go ahead or you can even use the format painter to do that so i just want to just do this for the rest and then 
we are good to go so basically this is how to create a simple payroll using excel like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification for more videos like this okay so subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you have any recommendation of this video till i come away again bye bye